Hey, what's up guys? Guardian here. Come to you guys with a deck profile on my Lyrical Monasterio Clarissa deck. So, uh, yeah, Clarissa got some new support from Lyrical Set 2. And, uh, yeah, for the most part, most of you might not know I have this deck because I, uh, I built this from Lyrical Set 1 and, uh, didn't do a video on it originally. Uh, Clarissa is not that hard of a deck to build, so I kind of didn't feel motivated enough to do a video for it. Um, but I did want to make a video, uh, cause it did get some new support, which, uh, does add a little bit to the deck, but for the most part, uh, the deck is still kind of the same. It just has some new tools at, it dis at its disposal uh, that makes it uh, play a bit better. So uh, yeah, let's get into the deck. So for the ride line here, we have the typical Clarissa uh, ride line. Uh, so for the grade zero, of course, we have the uh, the dignified real Clarissa, and then we're going to be riding into the serious challenger Clarissa. Uh, so the way the ride line works with Clarissa is that when you place the red one, um, on top of the grade zero, uh, you look at top seven cards at the top of your deck, choose an earnest character from among them and add it to your hand, and then you shuffle those cards that you looked at, and then you put them to the bottom of the deck. So you actually don't shuffle the cards back in, you actually create a stack at the bottom. Uh, but this is fine though, uh, if you like lose out on triggers or something, because uh, you will get the opportunity later uh, to then shuffle the deck back up, uh, so that you don't lose out on anything. Uh, the reason this is a thing is because we kind of want to filter away um, any of the non-earnest cracks or like just multiple copies of the earnest cracks that we don't want uh, to the bottom so that when we ride up again into the grade two, um, there's less of a chance uh, for us to see those multiple copies. Uh, we kind of want to filter through the deck uh, as much as possible so that we can get different earnest cracks to fill the field. So, uh, yeah, so the grade two is when placed on the van, um, by riding on top of the grade one. You saw blast one, look at top seven, add a grade two or less earnest correct, uh, add it to your hand, and then, um, shuffle those cards and then put them to the bottom of the deck. And then, um, yeah, each of the, uh, earnest correct, uh, units, the grade one and grade two, uh, they both get 5,000 power as long as you have no rear guard. So you're typically just going to be a swinging with the vanguard and that's it. Um, but that's actually okay because you have a 13k attacker on the grade one. And then the 15k attacker on grade two, uh, which is still pretty good numbers to be attacking for, even if you're just attacking with the one unit. So, uh, yeah. And then lastly, we of course have Clarissa herself, the grade three. Um, so when she's placed, um, by riding on top of the grade two, uh, which means that you don't get that effect anymore when you persona ride. Uh, it's only when you ride the grade two on top. Um, but yeah, the grade three Clarissa says you count blast one, search your deck for aim to be the strongest idol, which is an order card that we play. Uh, then you add it to your hand and then shuffle the deck. So then that will then shuffle the stack that you created through the ride line uh, so that you don't get any like, you know, trigger clogs at the bottom and you don't miss out on anything. So that's fine. Uh, but then the main effect, Clarissa, is that when she hits something, um, you can give 5,000 power to one of your Ernest Correct Regards and also uh, you get to draw a card. So this is actually really, really cool because with the order that she creates, um, she basically has the ability to attack multiple units uh, and then give a, you know, a preferred amount of 15,000 power uh, in three allocations of 5k uh, to three of your units, basically. So that's pretty cool. And then also you'll get to draw three cards, which is one of the main parts of Clarissa that I actually really liked her for. Uh, the fact that she had that possibility to give you multiple draws, uh, depending on how many things she hits, basically. So uh, yeah, so that is it for the ride line. So to go over the main deck, we, of course, are playing the three extra copies of Clarissa because we want to Persona Ride. Um, but then also we have the ability now to search this because we weren't able to do it before in the older build. Uh, but the new support card that we got, the Grade 1, uh, actually gives us the ability to search our Persona Rides. So we can actually get those off a lot more easier. And then the order card that I spoke about, which we are playing four of, we are playing four of Aim to Be the Strongest Idol. Uh, so this basically allows you to give Clarissa the ability to attack multiple units. Uh, the only thing with it though is that you need to have five uh, or more units with Ernest Correct in their different card names. So that's why it's so important to have the different names as you're riding through the ride deck and then picking out those different units to build the field up later on. Uh, but yeah, you get the ability that you give 5k to each of your Ernest Correct units and then your opponent, uh, if they're a grade three or greater vanguard, um, you choose your Ernest Correct Clarissa, and it gets the continuous effect of when this unit would um, when this unit would attack, uh, you choose three of your opponent's van or rears, and then uh, that unit uh, battles each of them on that attack, basically. 
uh, from those chosen circles. So you can choose, say, like the Vanguard and then two Regards, and you're attacking each of them. It doesn't matter where they are specifically, but you just get to pick three things to attack, whether it be three Rears or a Van and two Rears or whatever. Um, but either way, you're getting that ability to uh, get multiple on-hit triggers uh, so that you get to draw multiple cards from the Clarissa skill, which is really, really cool. And then also you'll get that extra um, 5,000 power times three uh, if you hit three units, which is really good. So uh, yeah, definitely want to be playing for this because you pretty much want to be using that whenever it's uh, applicable, uh, but you will get a guaranteed one to your hand when you ride the Clarissa Vanguard. Okay, so going over the grade twos, we have the triple rare from the first set, which is uh, Evelyn. So she basically recruits your Ernest Correct units. So when placed on rear from hand, uh, if your Vanguard Ernest Correct Clarissa, you can't blast one, search your deck for up to one grade two or less card with Ernest Correct in its card name, and then you reveal it. And then if you do not have a rear guard with that same card name as that card, you call it to an open rear guard circle and shuffle your deck. So she basically fills a regard spot with something that you don't have. So yeah, she's pretty much perfect for what the deck wants to do. But in terms of Ernest correct names, uh, we don't particularly have much of a choice in terms of what we're playing here. So of course, we're going to be playing four copies of her. And then the other Ernest correct grade two is going to be our multi-attacker, which is four copies of Caitlyn. So Caitlyn is pretty cool because uh, when the attack of your Ernest correct Clarissa um, on your Vanguard hits, you can pay the cost of Count Blast 1, discard a card, and then restand her, which is really, really good considering your Clarissa will be giving you power allocation uh, after her attack hits. Um, so then you can restand the uh, Caitlyn back up uh, to get some more power on her um, from the Clarissa to then attack with her for some extra multi attack that turn. So basically, the deck can attack four times, which is, you know, decent. Uh, not every deck can do that, um, but that's about the norm, I would say, for most decks uh, to at least do or try to do, uh, at least at some sort of a cost. So yeah, Caitlyn is basically the multi-attacker enabler of the deck. And then the new card that we got for the Grade 1s, um, we are playing three copies of the brand new, uh, what's her name, uh, Regina. Um, so she's really nice because she has a regard skill. At the end of the battle that this unit boosted with uh, a unit with Ernest correct in the name, uh, if you have a Vanguard with Clarissa in its card name, cost, Soul Blast 1, retire this unit, search it up for up to one grade 3 or less card with Ernest correct in its card name, reveal it and then put it into your hand and then shuffle your deck. So this gives you access to search any Ernest correct that you need. Or you could go get Clarissa and set up a Persona ride, which is really, really nice. So uh, yeah, a very nice support card. Um, this basically replaced the Blitz Order uh, that we were using in the last deck um, from set one. Uh, basically just to add more consistency to the deck to seeing your Persona ride and um, fetching your Ernest Crack pieces basically uh, to what you might need. So uh, yeah, three copies of her. Very, very nice support card for Clarissa. All right, and then next we are playing the four copies of Lena. Um, she basically has a recycling skill on her. So regard when your other regard with Ernest Correct in its card name um, is retired during your opponent's turn. Uh, if that unit, uh, sorry, if this unit is on regard circle, you can pay the cost of Soul Blast one and discard a card from your hand, and then put that retired unit back into your hand. So basically, it gives you the chance to filter something away uh, that you might have a you know, a duplicate copy of uh, to get that unit back to your hand that got retired during a opponent's turn uh, so that you have those different Ernest Crack names on the field still. Uh, it doesn't come up that often, but it is there just in case. And also, of course, she is an Ernest Correct, so we are playing her. All right. And then the last grade one, well, the last Ernest Correct grade one, I should say, is going to be the four copies of uh, Tripoli. So she's pretty cool because she says when your Vanguard attack hits, uh, she gets 5,000 power to end of turn. It's pretty simple. Um, but of course, as you can see with your Clarissa, if you hit three things, you get three allocations of 5k power. So this on top of the 5k's that your Clarissa will give, being 15, uh, when you hit three units, you can get a ton of power to work with, um, especially when you can line your triplies up. So uh, she's pretty good to make that extra push um, onto like your rear guards. And then maybe if you stand up your Caitlyn, uh, you can get some pretty good uh, pressurizing rear guard columns to attack with after your twin drive and maybe get some crits on top of that as well. So yeah, Tribly, really, really good. Uh, synergizes with Clarissa very nicely. And then the last grade one of the deck, obviously, is going to be the four 
perfect guard. Um, this is just the dragon, dragonroid perfect guard, just to go with the dragon theme of Clarissa. So yeah, playing four copies of those. And then we have the triggers. So unfortunately, we don't have a dragon based uh, over trigger. So I actually decided to go with the, uh, is this a ghost? Well, no, it's a demon. The uh, demon over trigger just because she has horns. So uh, yeah, I felt like it suited the uh, <laughs> the aesthetic of Clarissa the most just because the horns go with the dragon style. But yeah, of course, the over trigger, we're playing that as a one of. Uh, this one basically says that during the fight, um, when this goes off, uh, you get the continuous effect of during your turn, all of your units get 10,000 power. So yeah, <laughs> you get some really beefy rearguards and just units in general. Uh, just everything gets 10k and that's for the rest of the fight. So pretty, uh, pretty powerful. So we're definitely going to be playing the one copy of this. All right. And then for the trigger lineup, uh, in terms of the normal triggers, we have the four Dragonroid uh, crit. And we also have the four copies of the brand new um, effect crit that came out from set two. Uh, the skill doesn't come up too often. Uh, it's an in soul effect and there are some things in the deck uh, do, that do ask for your soul. Uh, be it the um, the recycling skill of the uh, Leona, or be it the soul blasting effect of your new grade one being the uh, the Regina. So uh, yeah, and also the ride line technically itself uh, also costs soul blast when you go for the grade two. So yeah, it's uh, it's something. It uh, doesn't come always, but it's nice to have the resource there uh, when you need it. So yeah, we're playing the maximum of the eight crit. Uh, we're playing the three front trigger, uh, just because we now have the 20k shield uh, access of this for the defensive stuff. Um, so even though we lost the blitz order technically to fit in the new grade one, uh, we still have the benefit of having fronts in the deck since the work, you know, very well with this deck, being that you usually want to attack with the vanguard first and then your rears afterwards. So front synergize really well, uh, but then also having the defensive act uh, aspect of the 20k is also pretty handy. And then, uh, thankfully, I am really happy to say that we now have a dragon-based uh, heal trigger as well. And uh, I really, really like her artwork. She looks really, really nice and uh, goes with the theme of Clarissa overall. But uh, yeah, pretty simple uh, trigger lineup. Um, pretty happy with it overall. And uh, yeah, that is basically the new upgrades to Clarissa. And um, I'm quite happy with the minimalistic upgrade that it got overall. Um, what I would like to see in future is for Clarissa to get some new Ernest Correct units, just so that we have a bit more, uh, I don't know, a difference, a difference in play style. Because um, for the most part, you're basically playing the set one version of Clarissa still, but you just have a few more tools to work with, like the new grade one, uh, to search for extra copies of Clarissa for Persona Rides, uh, which is definitely nice. I'm not complaining about that. Um, but yeah, it would be nice to see more Ernest Correct units, just so that we can differed the build in terms of what we're using and what players we can go for uh, but we'll just see um, but either or I'm happy to uh, you know spend a minimalistic amount on this deck to upgrade it because uh, I know that we do have set 5 coming out in uh, overdress very soon and I'm uh, really really excited to be building Majesty Lord Blaster so uh, yeah hopefully I can get to that uh, that to you guys as soon as possible but we just have to wait and see and wait for the set to come out but uh, yeah, that's going to do it for me. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the deck profile of Clarissa. Uh, maybe it was uh, unexpected for you, uh, for those that didn't know that I had this deck. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll uh, catch you guys in my next video. So like always, guys, this is Guardian205, signing out.